John Taylor, a reserved and hard-working human male, had always considered himself an ordinary man leading an ordinary life. He worked as a mechanic at a spaceport on the outskirts of New Haven, a bustling hub for intergalactic travel and trade. His days were spent repairing ships and maintaining equipment, far from the excitement of space adventures. One evening after a long day at work, John decided to take a walk through the nearby market district. The streets were alive with activity, filled with the vibrant colors and sounds of different alien cultures. As he wandered through the stalls, he noticed a commotion ahead. A beautiful alien woman stood in the center of the crowd, her eyes filled with desperation. Her delicate features were framed by flowing silver hair, and her skin had a soft, iridescent glow. She seemed out of place among the busy marketplace, her elegant demeanor contrasting sharply with the chaotic surroundings. John watched as she pleaded with passersby, her voice trembling. Please, I need your help. I have nowhere else to go. Will someone please help me? Curious and concerned, John approached her. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? He asked gently. The woman turned to him, her eyes widening with a mixture of hope and fear. Please, you must help me, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. I have been rejected by my own people and I have nowhere else to turn. John led the woman away from the crowd to a quieter area where they could talk. She introduced herself as Kayla, a member of an aristocratic family from the planet Zorath. She explained that she had been betrothed to a powerful nobleman, but when he discovered that she had no significant dowry, he had rejected her and cast her out. My family has disowned me, and I have no means to survive, Kayla said, tears streaming down her cheeks. I have traveled here in the hope of finding someone who will take me in. Please, will you marry me? I know it is a lot to ask, but I am desperate. John was stunned by her request. He had never imagined being asked to marry a stranger, let alone an alien woman. He felt a mix of emotions, pity for her plight, admiration for her bravery, and a deep sense of responsibility. Kayla, I... I don't know what to say, John stammered. This is all so sudden, but I can't leave you like this. Let's go somewhere safe and talk about it. John took Kayla to his modest apartment where she could rest and recover. Over the next few days, they got to know each other better. Kayla shared her story in more detail, revealing the harsh realities of her life on Zorath and the challenges she had faced since being cast out. As John listened, he found himself growing more and more attached to Kayla. Despite the differences in their backgrounds, they shared a bond that transcended their circumstances. Kayla's strength and resilience inspired him, and he realized that he wanted to help her in any way he could. After spending several days together, John and Kayla developed a deep connection. John found himself increasingly drawn to Kayla's grace and kindness, while Kayla admired John's integrity and compassion. Their relationship, which had begun out of desperation, was quickly evolving into something more profound. One evening, as they sat together on the balcony of John's apartment, Kayla took a deep breath and spoke from the heart. John, I understand that my request was unusual and sudden. I don't want you to feel obligated. If you cannot marry me, I will understand. John looked into her eyes, seeing the vulnerability and hope that lay beneath her calm exterior. Kayla, I've been thinking a lot about this. When you first asked me to marry you, I was overwhelmed. But now I can't imagine not having you in my life. I want to help you, not just out of a sense of duty, but because I care about you deeply. If you're still willing, I would be honored to marry you. Kayla's eyes filled with tears of joy and relief. Thank you, John. You have given me hope when I had none. I promise to be a good wife and to support you in every way I can. They decided to proceed with a simple wedding ceremony, inviting a few close friends and colleagues from the spaceport. The ceremony was held in a small, beautiful garden overlooking the city. As they exchanged vows, John felt a sense of peace and happiness that he had never known before. With their marriage formalized, John and Kayla began to build a life together. John continued his work at the spaceport while Kayla found ways to contribute to their household. Despite her aristocratic upbringing, Kayla was determined to adapt to her new life and make herself useful. Kayla discovered a talent for engineering and mechanics, skills she had never had the opportunity to develop on Zorath. She began working alongside John at the spaceport, learning quickly and proving to be an invaluable asset. Her presence brought a new level of efficiency and innovation to their work, and she quickly earned the respect of John's colleagues. As they settled into their new routine, 
John and Kayla grew closer. They shared their dreams and aspirations, supporting each other through the challenges they faced. Their bond deepened with each passing day, and they found joy in the simple pleasures of life together. One day, as they worked side by side repairing a particularly complex piece of machinery, John looked at Kayla with admiration. You're amazing, Kayla. I can't believe how quickly you've adapted and how much you've contributed. I'm so proud of you. Kayla smiled, her eyes shining with gratitude. I couldn't have done it without you, John. You gave me a chance when no one else would. I will always be grateful for that. Despite their happiness, John and Kayla faced prejudice and discrimination from some members of their community. There were those who disapproved of their interspecies marriage and viewed Kayla with suspicion and hostility. This prejudice sometimes manifested in subtle ways, such as whispered comments and cold stares, and other times in more overt acts of discrimination. One afternoon as John and Kayla were leaving the spaceport, they encountered a group of local workers who began to taunt them. Hey, human, what are you doing with that alien freak? One of them sneered. Shouldn't she be on her own planet? John felt a surge of anger but kept his composure. Kayla is my wife and she belongs with me. We don't need your approval. The group continued to jeer, but John and Kayla walked away, refusing to engage further. Later that evening, as they sat in their apartment, Kayla expressed her frustration. Why can't people just accept us, John? I thought things would be different here. John took her hand, his expression filled with determination. People fear what they don't understand, but we can't let their ignorance define us. We'll show them that love and commitment know no boundaries. We'll prove them wrong, Kayla. With renewed resolve, John and Kayla continued to face the challenges of their interspecies marriage head on. They focused on their work, contributing to the community, and building a network of supportive friends and allies who accepted and valued them for who they were. Kayla took it upon herself to organize community events aimed at fostering understanding and unity among the diverse inhabitants of New Haven. She arranged cultural exchange programs where people could learn about the various alien cultures that made up their community. The events featured food, music, and stories from different planets, helping to break down barriers and build connections. John supported Kayla's efforts, helping to set up the events and spreading the word among his colleagues and friends. Slowly but surely, they began to see a change. People who had once been wary of Kayla started to warm up to her, appreciating her efforts to bring the community together. As time passed, John and Kayla's reputation at the spaceport grew. Their skills and dedication did not go unnoticed, and they were soon approached with an exciting opportunity. The spaceport's director, impressed by their work, offered them a chance to lead a special project, designing and building a new generation of starships that would revolutionize interstellar travel. John, Kayla, your work has been exemplary, the director said. We believe you have the potential to lead this project and take our spaceport to new heights. Are you interested? John and Kayla exchanged excited glances. This was the opportunity of a lifetime, a chance to make a significant impact on the future of space travel. We're honored, sir. John replied, we would love to take on this project. The next few months were a whirlwind of activity as John and Kayla assembled a team of engineers, scientists, and technicians. They worked tirelessly, combining their unique skills and perspectives to design innovative starship prototypes. Their hard work paid off, and the first of the new generation of starships was soon ready for its maiden voyage. The launch was a monumental event, attended by dignitaries and media from across the galaxy. As the starship lifted off and soared into the sky, John and Kayla felt a profound sense of accomplishment. They had not only achieved a professional milestone, but it also demonstrated the power of collaboration and unity. With their project a success, John and Kayla continued to innovate and push the boundaries of what was possible in space travel. They received invitations to speak at conferences and share their knowledge with others in the field. Their partnership became a symbol of what could be achieved when people from different backgrounds came together to work toward a common goal. One evening, after a particularly successful presentation at an intergalactic conference, John and Kayla returned to their hotel room exhausted but elated. We did it, Kayla, John said, wrapping his arms around her. We're making a real difference. Kayla smiled, resting her head on his shoulder. Yes, we are. And I couldn't have done it without you, John. Together, we're unstoppable. As they looked out at the stars from their hotel room window, 
John and Kayla knew that their journey was far from over. There were still many challenges to face and new horizons to explore, but they were ready to face them together. Their love and determination had brought them this far, and they knew that no matter what the future held, they would continue to build a brighter tomorrow side by side. Just as everything seemed to be going well, an unexpected challenge arose. A powerful corporation, envious of the success of John and Kayla's Starship project, began to undermine their efforts. The corporation used its influence to spread rumors and create obstacles, attempting to discredit John and Kayla and take over the project. One day, John and Kayla were called to a meeting with the spaceport's director. His expression was grim as he informed them of the corporation's actions. I'm sorry to say this, but we're facing significant pressure from the corporation. They're claiming that your designs are flawed and unsafe. We need to conduct a thorough investigation to clear your names. John and Kayla were stunned but determined to fight back. They knew their designs were sound and that their work had been conducted with the highest standards of safety and integrity. We won't let them destroy what we've built, Kayla said resolutely. We'll prove them wrong. The investigation was intense and stressful, with John and Kayla working tirelessly to defend their work and reputation. They faced numerous challenges, including biased inspections and unfair scrutiny. Despite the obstacles, they remained committed to the truth and to each other. During this trying time, their relationship was tested like never before. They leaned on each other for support, their bond growing even stronger. We've faced prejudice and challenges before, John reminded Kayla one evening as they reviewed technical documents. We can get through this too. Kayla nodded, her eyes determined. We have to stay strong and focused. We know our designs are safe and innovative. We'll make sure the truth comes out. After weeks of scrutiny and testing, the investigation concluded with a comprehensive report that vindicated John and Kayla's work. The report praised their innovative designs and rigorous safety protocols, highlighting the groundbreaking nature of their Starship project. The spaceport's director called a press conference to announce the findings. We are pleased to report that the investigation has confirmed the excellence and integrity of John and Kayla's work. Their designs are not only safe but represent a significant advancement in space travel technology. We stand by them and their achievements. The news was met with widespread acclaim, and the corporation's attempts to discredit John and Kayla backfired spectacularly. They received an outpouring of support from colleagues, friends, and the public, solidifying their reputation as pioneers in their field. John and Kayla celebrated their victory with a quiet dinner at home. We did it, John said, raising his glass. We proved them wrong and showed the world what we're capable of. Kayla smiled, her eyes filled with love and pride. We make a great team, John. There's nothing we can't accomplish together. With their names cleared and their reputation restored, John and Kayla focused on the future. They continued to innovate and push the boundaries of space travel, their partnership stronger than ever. They also worked to ensure that other projects and individuals would not face the same kind of corporate sabotage, advocating for transparency and fairness in the industry. Their victory over the corporation had not only reaffirmed their commitment to each other, but also to their work and the principles they stood for. They were more determined than ever to make a positive impact on the galaxy, one starship at a time. As they looked out at the stars from their balcony, John and Kayla knew that their journey was far from over. There were still many challenges to face and new horizons to explore, but they were ready to face them together. Their love and determination had brought them this far, and they knew that no matter what the future held, they would continue to build a brighter tomorrow, side by side. With their reputation restored and their project back on track, John and Kayla received an exciting new offer. A consortium of planets invited them to lead an expedition to explore uncharted regions of the galaxy. The mission was to seek out new resources, establish trade routes, and foster interstellar cooperation. We'd be honored to lead this expedition, John said during the meeting with the consortium. This is an incredible opportunity to make a lasting impact on the galaxy. The months that followed were filled with preparation and planning. John and Kayla assembled a diverse team of experts, equipped their starship with the latest technology, and set out on their new adventure. The journey was filled with challenges and discoveries, each day bringing new experiences and opportunities for growth. Their starship, the Explorer One, was equipped with cutting-edge technology, 
including advanced navigation systems, powerful propulsion, and state-of-the-art scientific instruments. The crew consisted of scientists, engineers, diplomats, and security personnel, all hand-picked for their expertise and dedication. As the Explorer 1 ventured into uncharted space, the crew encountered various alien species, some friendly and others hostile. John and Kayla used their diplomatic skills to establish peaceful relations and trade agreements with the friendly civilizations, while their security team dealt with any threats. One of the most significant discoveries they made was a planet rich in rare minerals and resources, which they named Nova Terra. The planet's unique ecosystem and abundant resources made it an ideal candidate for a new colony. John and Kayla negotiated with the local inhabitants, securing a mutually beneficial agreement that allowed for resource extraction and cultural exchange. Their exploration also led them to ancient ruins on a distant moon, revealing clues about a long-lost civilization. The discovery sparked excitement and curiosity among the crew, leading to further expeditions and research. Kayla, with her background in aristocratic history, took a keen interest in uncovering the secrets of the ruins. During their expedition, John and Kayla discovered a beautiful, habitable planet in an uncharted region of space. The planet, which they named Espera, was rich in resources and had a climate ideal for settlement. The consortium decided to establish a new colony on Espera, and they asked John and Kayla to oversee its development. We'd be honored to help build a new home for future generations, Kayla said. Espera has so much potential, and we're excited to be a part of its growth. The work of establishing the colony was challenging, but deeply rewarding. John and Kayla worked tirelessly to ensure that Aspera would be a thriving, sustainable community. They coordinated with engineers, architects, and settlers, creating a harmonious blend of technology and nature. As the colony grew, John and Kayla found themselves at the center of a vibrant, diverse community. They made new friends, shared their knowledge and experiences, and watched with pride as Aspera blossomed into a beacon of hope and progress. The settlers faced numerous challenges, including harsh weather conditions and unfamiliar terrain. John and Kayla's leadership and resourcefulness helped the community overcome these obstacles. They implemented sustainable farming practices, built infrastructure, and established schools and healthcare facilities. One evening, as they stood on a hill overlooking the thriving colony, John and Kayla reflected on their journey. We've come so far, John, Kayla said, her voice filled with pride. Espera is everything we dreamed it could be. John nodded, his arm around Kayla. And it's just the beginning. There's still so much more to explore and achieve. But no matter where our adventures take us, Espera will always be our home. Their success on Espera attracted attention from other planets and organizations, leading to new opportunities and collaborations. John and Kayla became known as pioneers and visionaries, inspiring others to pursue their own dreams of exploration and discovery. As they looked out at the stars, John and Kayla knew that their journey was far from over. There were still many challenges to face and new horizons to explore, but they were ready to face them together. Their love and determination had brought them this far, and they knew that no matter what the future held, they would continue to build a brighter tomorrow, side by side. As John and Kayla continued to develop the colony on Espera, they received troubling reports from their allies. A powerful and aggressive alien empire known as the Zarkon Dominion had begun expanding its territory, conquering neighboring planets and enslaving their inhabitants. The Dominion's brutal tactics and advanced weaponry posed a significant threat to the stability and peace of the region. John and Kayla convened a council meeting with their allies to discuss the looming danger. Representatives from various planets and colonies gathered in Espera's Grand Hall to strategize and share intelligence. The Zarkon Dominion has been on a relentless campaign of expansion, said General Thorne, a seasoned military leader from a neighboring planet. Their fleet is vast, and their technology is formidable. If we don't unite and prepare, we could all fall to their tyranny. Kayla, with her diplomatic skills, spoke up. We must form a coalition to resist the Dominion. By pooling our resources and coordinating our defenses, we can present a united front. We've faced challenges before and emerged stronger together. John added, Our colony on Espera can serve as a strategic base for our operations. We've built strong infrastructure and can support both military and humanitarian efforts. The council members agreed to form the United Defense Coalition, UDC, 
a united force dedicated to resisting the Zarkon Dominion's aggression. They began to organize joint military exercises, share intelligence, and develop advanced defensive technologies. As the UDC prepared for the impending conflict, John and Kayla worked tirelessly to fortify Espera. They upgraded the colony's defenses, established emergency protocols, and trained the settlers in basic self-defense. The sense of community and solidarity among the colonists grew stronger as they prepared to protect their home. The day of reckoning came sooner than expected. A massive Zarkon fleet was detected approaching Espera, intent on conquering the fledgling colony and breaking the spirit of the UDC. The alarm was raised and the colony braced for battle. John and Kayla took command of the defense operations. John coordinated the ground forces and fortifications, while Kayla managed communications and diplomatic efforts with the UDC allies. The settlers, now trained and ready, stood united to defend their home. The sky above Aspera filled with the ominous silhouettes of Zarkon warships. The initial assault was fierce, with the Zarkon forces bombarding the colony's defenses. The ground shook as explosions erupted and the colonists fought valiantly to repel the invaders. John led a group of soldiers to the front lines using the advanced technology they had developed to hold off the Zarkon troops. Hold your ground, he shouted, his voice resolute. We fight for our home, for our families, for our future. Kayla in the command center coordinated with the UDC fleet, directing reinforcements to critical areas and managing supply lines. We need support in Sector 7, she said into the communicator. The Zarkon forces are pushing hard there. The battle raged on with both sides suffering heavy losses. The UDC fleet engaged the Zarkon warships in a fierce space battle, while ground forces clashed on the surface of Espera. The air was thick with the sounds of conflict and the resolve of those fighting for their freedom. As the battle reached its peak, John and his team launched a daring counterattack. Using a combination of strategic maneuvers and advanced weaponry, they managed to breach the Zarkon command ship. John led a small team on board, determined to confront the Zarkon leader and end the assault. Inside the command ship, they faced fierce resistance but pushed forward with determination. John and his team fought their way to the command center where they confronted General Craxus, the ruthless leader of the Zarkon forces. Your tyranny ends here, Craxus, John declared, his weapon aimed at the Zarkon general. Espera will never fall to your empire. Craxus sneered, drawing his own weapon. You are but a nuisance, human. The Zarkon Dominion is unstoppable. The ensuing battle was intense, but John and his team's training and resolve saw them through. They overpowered Craxus and his guards, effectively crippling the Zarkon command structure. With their leader defeated and their command ship compromised, the Zarkon forces began to retreat. The UDC fleet pressed their advantage, driving the invaders out of Vespera's space. As the Zarkon warships fled, a cheer erupted from the defenders on the ground and in space. They had won the battle for Espera, securing their home and striking a significant blow against the Zarkon Dominion. Exhausted but triumphant, John and Kayla embraced, their hearts filled with relief and pride. We did it, Kayla whispered, tears of joy in her eyes. We protected our home. John nodded, holding her close. And we showed the galaxy that we will stand together against any threat. Espera is our home and we will defend it with everything we have. The victory at Espera marked a turning point in the conflict with the Zarkon Dominion. It united the UDC and inspired other colonies and planets to join their cause. John and Kayla's leadership and bravery had not only saved their home, but it also laid the foundation for a stronger, more united front against tyranny. As they looked to the future, John and Kayla knew that the battle for freedom and peace was far from over but they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, confident in their love, their unity, and the strength of the community they had built together. The victory at the battle for Aspera had secured the colony and struck a major blow to the Zarkon Dominion, but the aftermath left the planet and its people in need of extensive recovery. Buildings were damaged and resources were strained. The UDC forces, though triumphant, had suffered significant casualties. John and Kayla wasted no time in organizing the recovery efforts. They worked alongside their fellow colonists to repair infrastructure, distribute aid, and provide medical care to the wounded. The sense of unity and resilience that had carried them through the battle now fueled their determination to rebuild. Kayla coordinated with UDC allies to secure additional supplies and reinforcements. She also reached out to neighboring planets for humanitarian aid.
We must rebuild not just our homes but our spirits, she said in a broadcast to the colony. Together we will restore Espera and make it stronger than ever. John focused on repairing critical infrastructure and ensuring that the colony's defenses were reinforced. He led teams of engineers and volunteers, working tirelessly to restore power, water, and communication systems. We've come this far together, he told his team. Let's show the galaxy what we can achieve when we stand united. The colonists responded with remarkable resilience and solidarity. They organized community efforts to clean up debris, rebuild homes, and support those who had lost loved ones. Families opened their doors to those in need, and the spirit of cooperation and kindness permeated the colony. As the weeks passed, the signs of recovery became evident. New buildings rose from the rubble, and the colony's infrastructure was restored. The gardens and farms that had been damaged were replanted, symbolizing hope and renewal. The people of Espera, though scarred by the battle, emerged stronger and more united. With Espera rebuilt and the UDC stronger than ever, John and Kayla looked toward the future with renewed hope and determination. Their victory had inspired other planets to join the coalition, and the movement against the Zarkon Dominion gained momentum. The tide of the war was turning, and the dream of a peaceful and united galaxy seemed within reach. The UDC organized a grand summit on Espera to celebrate their achievements and plan the next steps in their campaign. Representatives from allied planets and colonies gathered to discuss strategies, share resources, and strengthen their bonds. The summit was a testament to the power of unity and cooperation. John and Kayla were recognized as heroes, their leadership and bravery celebrated by their peers. During the summit's opening ceremony, they were presented with medals of honor, symbolizing their contributions to the fight for freedom and justice. As John stood on the stage looking out at the gathered allies, he felt a deep sense of fulfillment. This victory belongs to all of us, he said in his speech. Together we have shown that tyranny will not prevail. Our strength lies in our unity, and as long as we stand together, we can overcome any challenge. Kayla added, The journey ahead will not be easy, but it is a journey worth taking. We must continue to fight for our future, for a galaxy where all beings can live in peace and prosperity. Let this summit be a beacon of hope, guiding us toward a brighter tomorrow. The summit concluded with a series of workshops and planning sessions, laying the groundwork for future operations against the Zarkon Dominion. The alliances forged during this time strengthened the UDC and set the stage for continued success. As the summit ended, John and Kayla took a moment to reflect on their journey. They walked through the now thriving streets of Espera, marveling at the resilience and determination of their people. The colony had become a symbol of hope and strength, a testament to what could be achieved through unity and perseverance. One evening, as they sat together on their balcony watching the stars, Kayla turned to John with a contented smile. We've accomplished so much, John. I couldn't have asked for a better partner or a more wonderful life. John took her hand, his heart full of gratitude and love. We've had an incredible journey, Kayla, and it's not over yet. There's still so much more to explore, so many more adventures to have. But no matter what the future holds, I'm grateful to have you by my side. Kayla leaned in, resting her head on his shoulder. To the future, John. Whatever it may bring, we'll face it together. As they sat together, surrounded by the beauty of the world they had helped create, John and Kayla knew that their love had transcended all boundaries. They had found each other in the most unexpected of circumstances and had built a life filled with adventure, joy, and endless possibilities. Their journey had been one of growth, discovery, and unwavering commitment. And as they looked to the stars, they knew that their legacy of love and unity would endure, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and embrace the limitless potential of the universe.